Hello everybody. Uh, since it's winter time, I have decided to uh, clean some carburetors and rebuild them for spring. This is for a uh, 1990 Yamaha Radian, and uh, I've stripped them down quite a bit already, uh, getting ready to buy some parts, carburetor kits, to uh, clean them up. And this carb, as you can see, I've taken out the idle mixture screw right there um, all the fuel T's are gone the, vac the uh, vent tube uh, the fuel needle in seat is uh, out the uh, idle jet the slow speed jet right there is out and for those of you who have decided to take on this kind of project I thought I'd show you some of the particulars uh, for the Yamaha Radian and others, if you notice um, the screws in there for the uh, butterfly valve. On the back side, open this up, have been peened. So that they don't uh, idle out. Well, inside on this butterfly valve shaft right here and here, there is little O-rings. And those seal air from coming in uh, when you're sinking your carbs or when you're uh, running down the road. That prevents air from leaking in right here and causing a lean mixture. And over time, they get very hard. Uh, I know the Yamaha ones are about five bucks a piece. So I use the Suzuki ones. There's the part number. They are exactly the same diameter. They are exactly the same uh, piece, but these are only $1.75, and I get these from my local uh, Suzuki dealer and I replace the Yamaha ones with the Suzuki ones and I've had great success with this. Now some carbs, Hitachi's peen their their screws in their butterfly valve. Uh, Suzuki does not. Suzuki uses uh, Loctite and I have replaced a bunch of Suzuki ones. I do a lot of Suzuki work and once I get them out and I put the new screws in I use blue Permatex and I replace them with these screws here, depending on the size. Uh, they're M3 by eight or M3 by five. I get them at Fastenal. And uh, whichever one your carb needs, once you get the old ones out, um, you can replace them. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I use my Dremel and a, and a fine grinding bit to take care of these and as you notice I've ground off the painting on the back side uh, don't worry about the, the powder the little metal shavings these carbs are going to get uh, put into a parts cleaner and then into my ultrasonic cleaner to get them out so the next step is uh, I, I also have a Japanese industrial standard screwdriver bits um, because American standard Number twos are too small, and number one, uh, threes are too big, and you run the risk of stripping these out if you don't use the, uh, the correct uh, Japanese industrial standard bits. I got a set of them for, well, I bought uh, three different sizes, and it cost me about 100 bucks. I used my impact driver to take them out. So my impact driver, just get it right in there, like that. Give it a little whack. And I gotta plug it in. Hold on one second. And here we go, should come right out. Okay, I uh, ran into a little bit of problem. That one popped out, but the other one did not. It's still in there. 
Uh, now the head's rounded off a little bit, so uh, what I'm going to have to do with that is get my left-handed drill bits and uh, start with the very small one, and it should grab the metal and uh, twist it out. And in a second I'll get at that, but the one is out. I just got to work on the other one. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a left-handed drill bit is, uh, they're just simply drill bits that turn the opposite direction of uh, what you're used to. Instead of turning to the right, they turn to the left. Like that. And uh, usually that is good enough to, uh, when you get into the metal, to grab uh, the left last of the metal there and spin that out. Okay, as you can see, uh, the screw finally did come out out of the carb, and it took about three different sizes before it uh, finally grabbed enough to uh, pull the screw out. So now with the screws out, you can turn this and pull that butterfly valve out, which it's kind of hard to do with me being one-handed, and then I will pull that screw off and that will release the spring pressure and I'll show you that as soon as I get it done. Okay, got the screw loose. Lock washer and be sure to set all this aside. Know how this is, notice how that's uh, keyed. And this should pop right off. Or sometimes they've been on there a long time and they're a little bit stuck. So you may have to work at it. Okay, it's off now, and uh, I have this board where uh, every carb I do has its own area, so all the parts that are coming off this particular carburetor will all go right there, and kind of remember how they came off, that's a spacer, washer, lock washer, nut, and now you can see that little bitty o-ring in there. And it should just push right out. And there's the other O-ring. So you have one O-ring that sits there. One O-ring that sits there. That has already come out. Now these ones aren't bad. They're a little hard. But they're not too bad. But these definitely, if, you, if your carb has them, need to be replaced. Honda guys don't have these on the CB750s, CB900s, CB1000s. Um, all of the Suzuki GS models have them in those carbs. Yamaha Radian uh, has them. Um, and other carbs. I can't remember if the Hitachis, which are on the Maxims, have them. But... Uh, These uh, these carbs on the uh, radian there, Makunis, they will have them. So be sure you replace those when you uh, do your carbs. And I have one set of carbs soaking in my parts cleaner. Not a cleaner. And when I start putting that together, I'll shoot another video. Thank you.